Hey, check this out. See this? It's Olama. Okay, it's more than that. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, it's on Windows. Not with WSL. Windows. Native. At long last, it's finally here. I want to give you a quick taste of how to install it and what you can do when it's running. First, you have to get the installer. Now, depending on when you see this, you may have to go to the GitHub repo and then find it in releases, or you may be able to find it on the olama.com website. Once you have it, make sure you have your NVIDIA drivers installed. AMD may be available soon as well. With that ready to go, run the Olama installer. This is easy, and you should see it complete really, really soon. Once it's ready, you can find the Olama tray icon that lets you quit Olama or navigate to the logs folder. Now you can do the same thing you've been able to do on Mac and Linux for ages. Open a terminal or a command prompt and run Olama run Mistral. Slash set verbose and then why is the sky blue? And boom, there we are. Let's try Mistral. Now it's taking a while to download and this may be fixed in future releases or maybe even the final. I've noticed it takes a while to get started, but once it starts going, it seems to work just fine. Now, Olama run Mixtral, and I can ask a question. What is a black hole? Explain it like I'm five. And there it goes. Now this machine is running on a Tesla T4 card, mostly because that's the only GPU I could get running on my GCP account. I have a solution for that coming in another video very, very soon. And it's, uh, it's super cool. So it looks very familiar and works just like it does on Mac and Linux. Now let's take a quick look at the .olama folder. We can see it's just like it is on the other platforms. I have a models folder and there's a manifest folder with manifest for all the models. You can see that the manifest is the same as the one on Linux with a colon in the name for the blob. Now, I don't think that's valid for a file name on Windows. So if we look at the blobs directory, we see that Olama is using a dash there instead. When we look at the logs, we can see the full logs for Olama. It looks like Olama debug is enabled, but maybe that'll be turned off for the full release. Performance for Windows looks to be comparable to Linux. On my OBM site at obm.tvl.st, you can see that this Windows machine is very similar to a T4 machine running Linux. And that's Olama running natively on Windows. What do you think? I look forward to seeing the various Windows front ends pop up for this. Do you already have a favorite? Let me know in the comments down below and ask any other questions you have as well, and I'll try to answer them or ask in the Discord at discord.gg slash Olama. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.